Hi guys, how are you doing? It's a long time I haven't posted anything and I just wanted to share with you a couple of things. Well, as you know, we are pretty much all of us on lockdown um, everywhere. And um, so because of that, I wanted to tell you that uh, I mean, pretty much, you know, a good percentage of the population worldwide will get infected. However, you should not be worried. I think if you, if you read the news, the good news, you know that um, if you've got a healthy life, if you're working out, um, you shouldn't be worried um, because, well, obviously your immunology system will be able to attack and protect your body and yourself. So, um, having said that, um, I just want to tell you that for the last couple of days, I just uh, haven't, haven't had any sense of smell. I know, you know, well, and so what? Um, so a week ago, I wouldn't say anything. Actually, last week before our office uh, sent us home on Thursday, um, you know, I went for a couple of runs and stuff. Um, so specifically on the March the 11th, I did feel a little bit weak and had a running nose. But even so, I went for 8K, uh, sorry, not 8K, I'm joking, 6.5K. Uh, so around 4.5 uh, miles and I felt a bit weak but I said you know just give it a go push yourself for right here and just go for it um, but yeah so the next day I also went for a bike ride so that was 8k um, which is the 12th and um, I felt fine I had like a lot of power but on the next day I felt really really bad so um, I thought, well, you know, I'm just getting cold, and yes, there's coronavirus, but this has no relation whatsoever with coronavirus. That's just me having a cold. And because I had a runny nose, I said, well, pff, I shouldn't be worried. But there was one thing that um, I, I wasn't happy, and that was the fact that I pretty much lost all my sense of smell, so I can't smell anything. Um, so every day has been a bit different, but I would say in a nutshell, I can't smell anything. I can taste, which is good, um, but I can't smell anything. So uh, because of that, I've got some antihistamine, um, and I also got like some eucalyptus oils making me make make me help breathe. But that was actually worse than oil. At least the pills didn't do anything. Um, but so the thing is that because the moment I started sneezing, it also happened to be at the same time where this big tree, um, this, the, the Platanus acerifolia, or the Platanus hispanica, depends where you live in, but it's this big, tall, tall, tall tree that has beautiful leaves, and when it's autumn, they turn yellow. Uh, but at the same time, when it's spring, they have these little fruits with seeds, and the seeds have like little feathers, and they just came to my nose and they blocked me completely. So I thought, well, no, there's some relation to it, so why should we worry? Uh, problem is that, uh, I mean, normally yeah, it just blocks me, but I can smell, but this time I can't smell. But I said, well, you know, pollution is getting worse every year, it's warm as well, so shouldn't be worried. But yesterday morning, um, while sort of reading the news, there was one particular one that raised my suspicion that I might have coronavirus, and that is the fact that there's some studies um, made by some German scientists that they went to this is part of a retrospective on what happened in Wuhan and they claimed that apparently the two symptoms that we had uh, completely uh, misregarded which is um, disregarded sorry which is a uh, lack of smell and lack of taste or losing both senses or one of them so in my case I can still, I can still sense uh, taste so sweet salty bitterness everything is fine but smell is horrible, man. Like, it's a. Uh, Imagine you give me shit and tell me that's Nutella. I won't take it. I wouldn't tell the difference. Um, I also did a test. I left the, the organic rubbish completely uncovered. It was overflowing <laughs> uh, with, uh, you know, banelli, vegetables, and whatnot. And I couldn't smell anything. So, <laughs> okay. So, anyway, um, just to, to let you know. So, yeah. I haven't had any other symptom because yesterday I did, uh, so I, I, I downloaded the, the City Council app, so I live in Barcelona and there was an app that tells you, well, 
let us know where you live and if you want to ask a couple of questions. Can't have fever, not really. Uh, have, I, have I had any body pain? Not really. Uh, headache? Not really. Uh, cough? Yes, some, but not frequently. They, they like very sporadic, so like every now and then, and it's normally like perhaps it's not it's not even every day. It's like every third or every fourth, or they come and go. Um, however, in the mornings, I do feel like um, I have a lot of phlegm, uh, so I'm I've got constant running nose. That's another thing. Like running nose is not one of the symptoms, so why should I worry, right? But anyway, these news to be by surprise. So, just wanted to share that with you guys. Um, so far I'm fine, you know, I, I'm living like as usual, I'm working out at home, I'm doing like uh, 40 minutes after, you know, my, my work finishes every afternoon and in the morning when I wake up I do 20 push-ups and two minutes planking and it's fine. Like, it's, um, and the good thing is when I do work out, right afterwards I can smell a little bit, smell a little bit, but then it's gone. Um, what else I can tell you? So, three days ago it rained, and I presume because of that, took the pollution, so all these feathers away. So, that was another reason that uh, when it took it away, I managed to breathe. Uh, now, I don't really know why that day was really, really good for me. It's like I managed to, to smell everything, and I was breathing, my, my nose was not blocked. But the day after, and ever since, it's been the same, can't smell anything. Um, so what else was I to tell you? Well, just that, guys, just, uh, you know, most likely all of us is going to take it. Uh, remember, the virus is mutating, so, you know, it, it might get you in a different way. Just don't panic, don't worry, uh, don't go and buy toilet paper like a lunatic. doesn't make sense. Um, just in any case you should be buying is, uh, is healthy food, okay? That's what you should really be worried about or worried not, but just buy consciously and buy things that actually make you feel healthy, okay? Um, at the same time, work out, guys. Just don't think that because you're at home or because you're within four walls, you can't work out. You can work out. It's just a matter of you motivating yourself and uh, just, uh, you know, give it a go. So anyway, guys, just uh, be patient, okay? Just. Uh, uh, yes, we are home, but come on, <laughs> you know me, I'm always outside, uh, outdoors, riding and whatnot, and I think sometimes we just need to, to be, you know, uh, well, perhaps not in lockdown, but we need to be indoors and just relax a little bit. So, also, if you have a chance, if you've never done it, try to meditate, uh, it's quite good, I would say. Uh, in the beginning, it's a bit hard, uh, you might fall asleep, but don't worry, just uh, don't rush, just take it easy. Now you've got a lot of time. So, guys, take care. Don't want to take this uh, any further. I uh, just wanted to share this with you. Um, I will confirm if I have it or not, but because I'm in Spain and uh, the government doesn't have enough uh, test supplies, most likely they won't test me. Um, so I'll tell you how it goes, okay? Big hug as always. Take care. See you next time. Bye.